So quickly, we'll be talking about um, phases of fertilization. And um, yeah, phases of fertilization will actually be a long, okay, not really long, though, just five phases, right? And I would like us to just have an overview of them in this video. And I would like to make single videos on them, all right? Because there's no time to be lazy and be combining long lectures in the same place, all right? So I have to actually work myself out and split things up for you guys so that you guys can actually grab faster. So phases of fertilization, the focus is to uh, what are the phases of fertilization, all right? So this is basically fertilization. It has to do with sperm coming to fertilize the egg, blah, 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 blah. And the story is so short, all right? But as for embryology students, we don't keep the story short, all right? We still proceed. All right, so that you guys will actually know the details, right? So now, what is the phases of fertilization? I just have them listed up here, okay? I just have them listed up here, okay? And um, subsequently, um, we'll be making videos on each one of them, right? So basically, the first one is a passage of spam through the coronal radiator. Um, Coronal radiator is basically like uh, like a something looking like a rock. It's not indicated in this picture, but it's looking like a rock, and it's all around the egg. Okay, so the sperm actually has to pass through this first. The next there is a penetration of zona pellucida, binding and penetration of zona pellucida. Now zona pellucida is indicated here, and this is zona pellucida. So the sperm also has to pass through the zona pellucida before it gets to the egg. There's binding and fusion of the plasma membrane of the oocyte and sperm. Okay, so when the sperm gets to the egg, when it gets to the egg eventually, there's binding and fusion of it. All right, then there's a completion of second meiotic division and formation of female pronucleus. That's basically like okay, um, how the oocyte responds when the sperm enters the ooplasm, all right? Because the oocyte is actually arrested at the metaphase of the second meiotic division, all right? Waiting for a sperm to fertilize it. And if it doesn't, if no sperm fertilizes it, then it dies after 24 hours and gets out, uh, gets flushed out as menstrual flow, okay? Then next, there's a formation of male pronucleus. This is a male pronucleus. It's basically like enlargement of the head of the sperm, all right? once it comes to lie close to the egg. Lastly, there's fusion of this female pronucleus and there's also fusion of the male pronucleus, right? So uh, these pronuclides, since they actually get large, they come together and they fuse to form one zygote, right? And the result of this is a zygote that is a unicellular stuff, but it's having like a 2N chromosome, all right? So guys, this is it about uh, the phases of fertilization. Talking about phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four, phase five of fertilization. All right. So sometimes, sometimes uh, this phase four and phase three are actually like combined together to so just call it phase three. Then phase five will be called phase four then phase six will be called phase five, all right? Most of the times, all right? Because if there's binding and fusion of the plasma membrane or the oocyte, that means fertilization has occurred. And automatically, there will be resumption and completion of the second meiotic division and also formation of male parents. So it's basically like one, one thing happening, all right? So guys, this is about the phases of fertilization. See you guys in the next term.